church shortly. Hallelujah. Amen. I bring you greetings from Community 17. Within they, they are doing good. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Let's turn our Bible quickly to Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Let's be fast with it. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Oh, let's be fast. Now, many who are sempano home, if we say, and you can cop on to me, ah, a decor in Quadjemu, my one hour, what you did in a fire. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Somebody yes. say the gospel. The gospel. Say the gospel. The gospel. For, as we say, it is the yes. power of God. Or to, to salvation to, to everyone that believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Somebody say the gospel. Say the gospel. Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Paul said, Not a gospel. The gospel. A specific message. Yes. The word there. It's a definite article. A definite article. It means you must hear a certain message. You must hear a certain word. You must hear something specific. And that thing has the power to me now to bring you salvation. So what is the gospel? The gospel is that all men are sin and are doomed to die. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And Romans 6 23 says the way, uh, no, uh, Romans 6 23 says all have sinned. And I've come short of the glory. And Romans 6 23 says, The wages of that sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. I've forgotten that you are bringing these things behind me. For the wages of sin is death. So all men were doomed. We were supposed to die. What a wretched man I am. Paul said, Paul said, the thing I want to do, I don't feel too warm. The thing I don't want to do is the thing I do. Then Paul said, in that case, and yet, it is not me who is doing it, but it is a sin that was in me that is making me to do the things I do. So men have become like robots to Satan. Whatever men don't want to do is what they do. I asked my father, Baby Sammy Papa, why? Ade. Why? Ade. Because he married three women <laughs> and had 14 children. Oh, no, um, but do nine. And the three women were not enough. <laughs> there were other concubines. <laughs> so I asked him, why? <laughs> he says, Oh, no. <laughs> The women love me. So the women love him. So he couldn't take off his children. So the children were supposed to be to be taken care of. And not being taken care of. Because sin is at work. What he doesn't want to do is what he does. So it is not him who is doing it. But sin was doing it. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says, so for say, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish. For God so loved the world. I say, for God so loved the world. I say, for God so loved the world. I, so the world. I don't know where you are today, but I bring to you the gospel of Jesus Christ that has the power to change your life. That has the power. To, to save now. you, and that has no. the power no. to me now. transport and you. No. Hallelujah. Amen. God so loved the world no. that He came down so to die for no. us. No. The Bible says. No. First, let's go to First, uh, Second Corinthians. Uh, first Corinthians chapter Where's our scripture? 
Last week we, we read it. Okay, Second Corinthians 2 11. So that we can just finish. I want to finish something today on this topic. Then I'm done with it. Hallelujah. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. Mm. For we are not ignorant of his devices. It means that it say, men became ignorant of Satan's tricks and he was using us as puppets. And and all that dying. The thing we don't want to do is the thing that we do. And and yeah, yeah. It means somebody is controlling us. So it means yeah, yeah. somebody is controlling us. So yeah, yeah. Remember the thing? Okay, so the guy that got a uh, uh, boost. He was boost. Oh, boy, yeah. Then he moved. Now I then he realized that no, who said? he saw himself. And you know, no, so he stood there. Say, don't push me. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go by myself. <laughs> don't push me. He realized that something is pushing me. Uh, we used to have a drug guy in our area. He would drink. Then he would drink. Do you know that message that they don't fall down? I want to hear so. <laughs> they go this way. Say, uh, then he would stagger. He said, say, so light. Uh, Interpret it. Oh, so light, eh? so light, eh? Masun sono. <laughs> Ka ko light, eh? no baman sono. He is hello talking. He says so light, eh, no. I say so light, eh, no. We saw so, eh, sono sono. Do you know sono? Maybe. Oh, a day. Sadi ana po 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 no. Ah, bo 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 bo. Eh, so light, eh, no. Yes, yeah, so me bo bo no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would like to know, now I'm by me. Say, who be Timmy Pupun? I don't go on, I say. It means that something is working at home. From today, I declare that we are not ignorant. We will not be ignorant. Of Satan's strategy. He used it on Adam. He used it on many people. He tried to use it on Jesus. So he failed. Anytime Satan brings his truth to you, he will fail, Potter. I said he will fail, Potter. Because you will be you, you will be knowledgeable of it. And when you see sin, you say hey, 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 hey. I see minimum. I know this thing. Minimum way. I know where this is going. Maybe I call. Let's look at it. Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. I have to finish this. Let us tell Proverbs 14, 34. I see. Three minimum on my soul. Uh huh. Now, come for a who are Nipponi. Uh huh. Righteousness and sort a nation. But sin is a reproach. A disgrace. Sin brings people down. Yeah. So when we see sin, yeah. we know what it is. Yeah. We know that it is bringing people down. Yeah. So when we see it, yeah. we know that we are not sinners. Yeah. We don't practice sin. Yeah. And we know that this sin, yeah. no matter how nice it yeah. looks, yeah. it brings people down. Yeah. And you and I are not going down. Hallelujah. Amen. So righteousness who lifts you up. So God came down and became our righteousness. His name is Jehovah Chicken. The Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. So when Jesus enters, he brings you righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is the ability. 
power, the ability of God to walk in the way of God, the ability of God to overcome sin, the ability of God to tread upon Satan's weapons, it's not righteousness. When sin doesn't tear your body, when you see certain things, a time is coming when some people send you some videos, you will delete them. Because you don't watch those things. Am I talking man. to somebody here? Yeah. A time is coming when some people invite you to some places. You tell them I don't go there because I don't go to such places. I am the righteousness of God. I am not going down. I am not going down. Somebody tell somebody I am not going down. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going higher. I say you are going higher. Righteousness will let something in the pigeon. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Let's read Romans 8 10. Quickly. Romans 8 10. Romans 4 whom I tea watch in. Romans 8 10. Quick. Romans 8 10. A do. Romans 8 10. But now. If Christ is in you, the Christ then even though your body is subject to death for because of sin, the spirit gives life because of righteousness. Hey, is somebody reading the Bible? But if Christ is in you, it don't. Then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the spirit gives life because of righteousness. It means if Christ is in you, righteousness is in you. So though you are supposed to die, you are not going to die. You will leave. The spirit gives life because of righteousness. If Christ is in you, the Holy Ghost is in you. And if Christ is in you, righteousness is in you. And as long as righteousness is in you, you will not die. I say you will not die. Is somebody in church? Christ in you. The hope of righteousness. The hope of glory. You are going higher. I came here this morning. To prophesy to you that you will rise, that you will shine, that you will go higher. There's somebody here. You'll be shocked at what will happen to you. By righteousness. You cannot tell. You, the other day, my daddy was talking to and me. Me. My father. Me papa. When he was alive. Or then he, he, he got up a little. Or and then he said. Or I know your God. I know your God. He will see you through. Because he saw my God. My father came to my school. And my papa my school. And they, t they told me, your daddy is looking for you. Oh, so, so I got out. Me who, who will not be happy if your father is looking at you? I said to you, your uh, won't you be happy? Uh, ninja. At least if he's going, you will give oh, me so some. So but he came to my school with a message. And he didn't wait for me to go home. He came to my school. And then he said, I'm here to tell you that from today, I can no longer pay your school fees. I can't pay your school fees. Because it's you people, you have many. Mo, mo you are do 14. Mo, mo I, I am now on a pensioner. So I cannot pay your fees. Me, 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 me. And one no, no. Since then, and before then, he never paid. But he paid once to send me to secondary school. Right as from one, he said, I can't pay again. So I came to God. I said, Father, you are my father. You are my father now. What should I do? But because of righteousness, Something on the inside began to speak to him. He said, Pass it. He said, Do this. Go and do this one. Talk to him about it. So I began to follow. I passed it. So my father was in the house. And he heard that I am now a teacher training college. He said, How did you get it? Before he said, Jack, I have done my whole level. Before he said, Jack, I have done my level. He said, How did you do it? Righteousness will exalt you, but sin will bring you down. 
All this time, I was having a lot of temptations. I mean, temptations that bring expansion and contraction to my body. But I refuse. Somebody shout, I refuse. Let me tell you something. The Bible talks about Joseph. Joseph and the Potiphar. Potiphar's wife said, Sleep with me. The woman is very beautiful. She's powerful. She says, Sleep with me. Joseph said, No. She says, Sleep with me. Joseph said, No. One day, Joseph was passed. He grabbed him. He said, Today, today. You are going to sleep with me. And then Joseph said, I can't do that. I don't want to do it. I cannot do it. Because if I do it, it's a sin against God. It's a sin against God. I can talk to somebody here. Because of this, they sent him to prison. But when righteous says, he says, it doesn't matter where they send you. Righteous says will lift you up from prison. From prison, he was lifted. He became the king. I see righteous says elevated somebody. Let me tell you, this morning, I am also not preaching. I have prophesied to you that by force, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you will rise by force. I say you will rise by force. I say you will rise by force. Shandala Baba Hassan. You will rise by force. Oh, sorry. Jesus came. Yes, bye. So that you will rise. So when you're so here. Amen. Amen. I said amen. Amen. Now, Afi. What does it mean to be righteous? Then the church said, then the church said, oh yeah. Let's read Colossians chapter 1 verse 30 to 14. Colossians 1 30 to 14. I need to move fast on this. Colossians chapter 1 verse 30 to 14. But, oh, no, it's still the old one. It's refreshing. Okay, so read yours. Read a tree quick. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 to 14. Colossians 4, whom I tibaco. 13 to 14. Quickly. Do me and send it to 9. I say, So we are here if we zoom to me, I say, the air up back. The top of the air, or no more, you know, or cheer. I am a bonifacio. And you know, somebody read English for me. Who is reading English? Read it. Read it loud. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? Uh -huh. In whom we have redemption through uh -huh. his blood. Uh -huh. Even the forgiveness of sins. Even the forgiveness of sins. Okay, so. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. The punishment of the sin. Was laid on Christ. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can say, Lord, 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 Even the forgiveness of sins. Sin is like they put a, a one full block around your neck that, and they put you into the sea. And they do raise you. There is no way you can come out. Sin will pull you down. But the Bible said, 
Jesus took your sins. Yes, so your sins have been forgiven. I am here to declare to somebody the sin of your great grandfather. The sin that your, somebody did in your family. It has been forgiven. I said it has been forgiven. You are a new creator. Even if I be in Christ, he is a new creator. The old is past. Your sins have been forgiven. And what does it mean? When we say your sins have been forgiven, Psalm 32, verse 1. Psalm 32, verse 1. David, you know, you are a bad boy. David, you are a bad Blessed! Blessed! I think Blessed is he whose transgressions. Are forgiven. Whose sin is covered? Anytime your sins are forgiven, a big bed of one of the Bible calls you blessed. Why? Because that thing that is sending you down, it has been broken in business. Your sin is what will bring you down. But that sin has been forgiven. So there is no need for you to go down. There is no need for you to go down. Hey, am I talking to somebody here? Because there is only one thing that brings curses. It's called sin. It brings people down. And the Bible says when Christ enters, your sins are forgiven. So the Bible says, Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, My sins are forgiven. Say my sins are forgiven. Say because of that, I am blessed. Is somebody here? There's no reason for you to suffer in it. Am I talking to somebody here? No, because sir. I said there's no reason for you to suffer in Let's read Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two. Your sins have been forgiven. I say your sins have been forgiven. And be ye kind one to another, mm. tender hearted, forgiving one another. Mm. Even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you, your sins have been forgiven for Christ's sake. Christ Not because you did something. Not because your name is sanity. Not because you are nice and beautiful. For Christ's sake, Christ your sins has been forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are no more a sinner. I say you are no more a sinner. You don't practice it. When you see sin from today, when you see disobedience, any type of sin, I don't want to mention sin. But when your heart preaches you, this you is wrong, you know you cannot do it. Tell somebody, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't practice it. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. For Christ's sake, Christ your sins have been forgiven. Blessed is the one whose sins have been forgiven. And if your sins have been forgiven, then the Bible says you are blessed. It means there is no reason to go down. There's no reason for Satan to profit you. There's no reason for Satan to control you. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I, pay. I speak over the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I declare to Satan, I catch up on he has nothing in you. Mm -hmm. Whatever Satan accuses you of, mm -hmm. that sin has been forgiven. So, mm -hmm. Satan has nothing. Mm -hmm. The other day, no, no, no. we are casting a demon in somebody. Mm -hmm. Now the, person, the demon spoke and uh, he has That's something it. that belongs to me. Oh, be he has something that belongs oh, to be me. Be this is where I live. Uh -huh. But if Jesus has paid the price, That's a yes, sir, then that demon cannot stay. And said, oh, so we now. told that demon, this one, all he sees have been forgiven. Yes. Therefore, you have no right to be here. Jesus paid the price immediately. Boom. 
Because we know. Somebody say we know. Say I know. My sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. So when something happens to you, don't accept it. I, I, I'm not talking to somebody. Don't sit down quiet. Reject it. Hallelujah. Amen. Your sins have been forgiven. This morning, and obey. I came here to tell someone. Your sins have been forgiven. Let's read Ephesians chapter one, verse three to seven. Then we we'll close on this one. And then I will read one verse. We we'll pray with it quickly. Ephesians chapter one, verse three to seven. Quickly. I read the English only. Is frozen, is frozen again? Ephesians chapter one. Are you there? Okay. Bless. Be the God is Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Verse 4. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Hey, is somebody here? God has called you to be holy. God has called you to be holy. I say God has called you to be holy. Say I am a holy man. If you're a woman, say don't say man. Say I'm a holy man. The women who are saying man. Say I'm a holy man. Say I'm a holy man. If the boys are also saying man. Boys say I'm a holy boy. Girls say I'm a holy girl. Say I'm a holy man. I want to hear all the I'm a holy man. I'm a holy man. Okay, greet somebody. Say I'm a holy man. I'm a holy man. Girls, boys, what's your greeting? Say I'm a holy man. I'm a holy man. I'm a holy man. I'm a holy man. I'm a holy woman. I like that. Do I have some holy girls here? And holy boys here? Yes. Holy men here? Yes. Holy women here? Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Eh? Next verse, verse 5. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ mm. to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Yes. The next verse. Inciano. To the praise of the glory of his grace, mm. wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Mm. Because righteousness is in you, yes, yes, you are accepted. Last verse, 7. In, song. in whom we have redemption mm. through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. We have forgiveness. Yeah, forgiveness is like a passport. Is, uh, it's like a passport. <laughs> when you have it, <laughs> you are untouchable. Oh, I might talk to somebody here. Because, uh, if the devil tries to tell you uh, things, tell you him you my know. sins have been forgiven. <laughs> Even if you make a mistake, <laughs> repent of it Such a thing. and tell the devil, <laughs> my sins have been forgiven. <laughs> somebody say, my sins have been <laughs> forgiven. <laughs> Say my sins have been forgiven. If your sins have been forgiven, then we are going to pray. So let's read this one. Pray and close the service. Close the service right now. Let's read James 5 16. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Confess your fault one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man mm. availeth much. Okay. Your, your righteousness no? is not what you did. Mm. It's what Jesus gave you. Mm. The past what Jesus gave you. Mm. So you're, because you are righteous, mm. your prayer mm. moves mountain. Hey, I'm not talking to somebody here. Stand to your feet. Say I'm righteous. Say I'm not a sinner. Say I'm righteous. Say I'm not a sinner. Near Satan and Nantiso. The path of Satan in your life can never come because be you. who do you know? Because you're born in your, your sins have been forgiven. Amen. Amen. Who born in Satan and Nantiso? He has paid for those and you be forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. 